Hello, everyone. This is Karen. Hello, everybody. I am Shane. Today we're looking at day two of Leave It to Beaver. Bringing beavers back to control UK flooding, and the vocabulary words are benefits. Benefits. The patient feels that the benefits of taking the medicine are worth the side effects. Surround. Surround. My rich uncle's country house is surrounded by grass and beautiful trees. Wow.、Yeah. Electric. Electric. Electric scooters are getting more popular. Destroy. Destroy. The city was almost totally destroyed by an earthquake <gasps> in 1766. <laughs> Costly. Costly. Ben had to sell his truck because the repairs had become too costly. Sad. So we're still talking about the adorable animal. Yes. Beaver. Yeah. <laughs> so it depends on who you ask if they're adorable or not. Hmm.、But、I guess you're right because some, some people they think that they might damage the trees、yeah. and the farmland. Right. So they were kind of being like fenced. All, like fenced into the river areas, so they couldn't get out and destroy farmland. Right? Yeah, right. So this experiment in Devon was to just kind of let them go, and they were able to help with the flooding. With the flooding, and also there were additional benefits. What are some additional benefits? Like the, I think the trees and the. The stuff that they put in the river helped、mm -hmm. to filter the water, so it kind of stops the pollution. Exactly. Okay, that's really good. And it kind of created a better environment for the fish population to. Oh, so、um, you get more、grow. fish.、Mm -hmm. So actually, they can do a lot of good to our environment. They can, yeah, but I guess they can destroy other parts of the environment.、Mm -hmm. So. It's probably best to introduce them into areas where it would be really useful,、hmm. and maybe try to control them in areas where they're just doing damage. That's true. <laughs>、so、I guess you're right. Need a balance, but I think tourists would love to come and see、mm -hmm. beavers and see them in action. To... I would love to. That would be cool, right? That sounds so interesting. All right, let's go to somewhere in Europe or somewhere in the UK, and we'll figure, we'll find out what they do. All right. See you later. Leave it to Beaver, bringing beavers back to control UK flooding. Over five years, scientists studied the beavers that were released in Devon to see what effect the animals had. They released a report which showed several benefits. In addition to slowing floodwaters, the dams helped filter pollution from the river. The beavers and their dams also created rich marshland, which greatly increased the fish population. Today's lesson is called "Leave It to Beaver," bringing beavers back to control UK flooding, Part Two. Hello, everyone. My name is Jeff, and I'm Mike, and we're reading about how beavers. Yes, that lowly little animal. It is part of the rodent family. It is like a giant rat, but it's a very skilled rat with big teeth, and it can chop down trees and build dams. This is great because it can help control flooding, and this was seen in the UK when they had flooding there, and in one area of the UK where they actually had released some beavers, which they don't have in the UK. UK anymore. These beavers controlled the flooding, and very little damage was seen in that area. When many other parts of the country were hit by bad flooding, it cost a lot of money. Yeah, there was historic flooding in 2020.、Yeah. There was flooding everywhere, everywhere, except in one place,、yeah. Devon. Now, what was different about Devon? Well, in 2015, the government. Released beavers there as a part of a trial, and there was no flooding there. That's not a coincidence. Beavers are excellent when it comes to building dams. Anyways, 2015 to 2020, over five years, scientists studied the beavers that were released in Devon to see what effect the animals had. Hmm, were they good for the environment? Were they bad for the environment? Well, they released a report. Which showed several benefits, and yes, our thumbs are up. Why? Because when we're talking about benefits, we're talking about good things, good stuff, advantages, things that make your life better. Anyways, if something benefits you, it is good for you, or you can say that it is a benefit. Anyways, here though, we are using this word as a noun. For example, the patient feels. 
that the benefits of taking the medicine are worth the side effects. So taking the medicine, it might make you feel strange, but it also will cure your illness. So yeah, that's a pretty strong benefit there, or you can say that it benefits you in that way. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's look at some of the benefits or the positive things, the good things about having beavers back in the wild in the UK. It says, in addition to slowing floodwaters, which we learned about yesterday, in addition to slowing floodwaters, the dams helped filter pollution oh. from the river. Oh, okay, because beaver dams are made up of sticks and rocks all built together, and that actually kind of acts as a filter, a net, catching garbage and pollution. It makes the water as it flows down the river mm. through the dams much cleaner and fresher. So that's a definite benefit. And the beavers and their dams also created rich marshland, which greatly increased the fish population. Mm. So where the dams are built, the, the river kind of swells and it creates these sort of pools and little lakes. And these are great breeding grounds and areas for little fish babies to grow up, be hatched, mm -hmm. grow, and the makes the rivers much better for fishermen and for the natural wildlife around it. So two good benefits there, cleaner water and more fish. And no flooding, yay! Yeah. All right, folks, with that, it's time for us to take a break, but don't go away, we'll be back soon. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。虽然人们过去痛恨河狸，但是这种会建造水坝的啮齿类动物，却是能够帮助人们阻挡洪水的大工程。那么 Mike 老师在开场的时候，他用到 lowly 这个形容词，就是 low 低的，再加 ly， 变成形容词可以形容说地位是低下的、低阶的，或是卑微的、谦逊的。老师还有用到 rodent 来表达啮齿类动物，那这个字是拼作 r o d e n t rodent。好，我们在第一天的课文有读到说，二零一五年英国的德文郡有进行一项试验，他们就沿着奥特河来释放一小群河狸。那五年来，科学家发现这些河狸带来了几个好处。好，单字 benefit。Benefit 当名词就可以指好处、益处，它也可以当动词来表达对什么什么有益。好，那我们来看有什么好处。河狸建造的水坝、啊，它除了可以减缓洪水，可以过滤这个河中的污染物，并且创造出肥沃的沼泽地，让鱼类数量大为增加。所以它具有滤网的功能，还可以创造出鱼类的繁殖地。麦克老师刚刚就用到 filter 这个字来指滤网 ，f i l t e r 这个字当名词可以指滤网。过滤器，还有提到 breeding ground， breeding ground， 这是指繁殖地、繁殖处。好，另外课文用到片语介系词 in addition to， 后面加上名词或动名词，就可以表达除了什么什么以外，还怎么样？那这是在表达说 in addition to 后面的人事物有包括在内。例如 ，I'd like some chicken nuggets in addition to French fries。除了薯条之外，我还要一些鸡块。那这话课文中 ，Leave it to Beaver, bringing beavers back to control UK flooding. Still, many locals are against bringing beavers back. In fact, the area in Devon is surrounded by an electric fence to keep the animals in. While beaver dams protect areas further down the river, they can cause their own flooding nearby. This often results in destroyed farmland. Therefore, a possible answer is to put beavers only where they're needed and fence them in, but that may be too costly over time. Anyway, still many locals we learn are against bringing beavers back. So they have all these benefits; they can keep areas from flooding. What's the problem? Why would you not like these beavers? Well. It says, in fact, the area in Devon is surrounded by an electric fence to keep the animals in. It's a beaver jail. It's a beaver prison. Wow! Apparently, this they've had this area of Devon around the River Otter, which we read about、uh, yesterday, where they have the beavers, and the beavers have been doing their thing,、mm -hmm. doing it very well. But that whole area is surrounded by electric fence. 
basically a barrier, a, a wall, a fence to keep the beavers in. Obviously, they're afraid of them going out. Why we don't know, but we'll talk about that in a second.、Mm. First, this word "surround" is one of the words we need to look at here. It's a verb. To surround is basically to enclose something, to have something around it on all sides, in a circle, in a square, whatever. If something surrounds you, it is around you on all sides. For example, my rich uncle's country house is surrounded by grass and beautiful trees. Wow! So from every window in the house, basically, if you look out, you'll see green grass and trees. You won't see other buildings and stuff like that. Yeah, what's going on here? Not only、mm -hmm. are these beavers、mm -hmm. are they being fenced in,、yep. but they're being fenced in with an electric fence. They, they would they, eat through anything else. They really, really want to keep these beavers in this particular area.、Sure. Anyways, yes, a fence that encloses a certain area. An electric fence, well, that encloses an area, and if you were to touch it. <laughs> You're going to get、oh. shocked because it is an electric fence. It's connected to electricity, so you don't want to touch an electric fence. Now,、mm. sometimes when people use this word "electric," they're talking about something that is powered by electricity and with batteries and stuff like that, and not with gasoline. For example, electric scooters are getting more popular. They run on that battery power and not on gasoline. Anyways, while While beaver dams protect areas further down the river, they can cause their own flooding nearby. Oh, all that new marshland! Well, sure, it's good for the fish, but it's also flooding. It's an instance of flooding. Absolutely, and the UK is a very small island that has had people on it for hundreds of years. So a lot of that marshland used to be. Farmland. Someone used to own that and probably have cows or grow things on it, so that can cost them money. It says this often results in destroyed farmland. So the beaver builds the dam on that little river, but suddenly the river widens into this nice marshland or little pool, little lake. But the farmers' fields on either side get destroyed. If something is destroyed, this verb means to ruin. Yeah, we can have we can destroy something, or it can be destroyed. But in either Cases it's wrecked, it's ruined, it's done. You can't fix it. You got to start all over again. Earthquakes will destroy buildings. You'll just have to knock down the building and put up a new one. You cannot fix it. If it's destroyed, it is done. It is finished. For example, the city was almost totally destroyed. By an earthquake in 1766. Anyway, so yes, earthquakes will destroy things, and water, of course, will destroy things in floods or because of beaver activity. Therefore, a possible answer is to put beavers only where they're needed and fence them in. But that may be too costly over time. I was thinking, wait a minute, in in Devon, there they actually built、mm -hmm. a network of dams on the River Otter.、Mm -hmm. That must have covered a large area, and they had to fence that entire area in with an electric fence.、Mm. Wow, that must have been expensive. Yes, here we have the adjective costly. If something is costly, it costs a lot. It is expensive. It can cost a lot of money, or it can be costly in terms of time. Let's say it takes a lot of time, so on and so forth. For example. Ben had to sell his truck because the repairs had become too costly. Oh, it's just too expensive to fix this truck over and over again. So, I've got to sell it. Okay, folks. With that, it's time for us to take a short break. But don't go away. We'll be back soon. 好，从那个试验里，我们可以看出河里所带来的许多好处。不过，尽管如此，很多当地人还是反对重新引进河狸。课文就提到说，其实德文那个地方啊，它周围是有一道通电的围篱围绕着，要防止河狸跑出来。那虽然河里水坝可以保护河流更下游的地区，却有可能会在附近造成淹水，导致农地受到破坏。同学们，试着想想看，如果你要引进河，又要用围篱把它们围起来，这样代价好像太昂贵嘞。那这边有用到四个单字 ：surround，surround， surround, 它表示围绕、环绕、包围的意思。
Mike 老师说的 enclose, e n c l o s e, enclose 也可以表达把什么围起来、围住、包围。好，再来看 electric, electric， 它是形容通电的、用电的或是电的，在后面加上 i t y 会变成名词 electricity, electricity 表示电或是电力。好，再来 destroy, destroy 它表示摧毁、破坏。那么文中用 destroyed。它的过去分词来当形容词，形容遭到摧毁的。那老师在解释单字时用到另一个动词叫 wreck，w r e c k。wreck 可以表达撞毁、破坏的意思。再来看 costly，costly costly, 它是形容昂贵的、代价大的。解华课文中 ，Leave it to Beaver, bringing beavers back to control UK flooding. Most countries in Europe have reintroduced beavers, and several have found yet another benefit: growth in ecotourism. That's why many Europeans cannot understand what's got the British so worried. One thing is certain, though: the British have a history of not following the rest of Europe. With beavers, it will likely be the same. Okay, let's leave you the UK for a little while.、Okay. And move on into the mainland there in Europe. Yes, most countries, it says, in Europe, have reintroduced beavers, and several have found yet another benefit: growth in ecotourism.、Oh. So people will visit places in Europe to see the beavers. That's right. Ecotourism is、huh. when people go to places to see the natural environment or animals in that environment. If you go to Africa to see the lions, that's ecotourism. If you go to the mountains to bird watch or something, that would be ecotourism too. So that could be a benefit. Money coming in because tourists want to see the beavers after they get over the electric fence.、Yeah. That's why many Europeans cannot understand what's got the British. So worried. So a lot of European countries, Germany, Sweden, France, wherever, they're saying, "Oh, the beavers have been great. They control the flooding. Tourists love them." What's wrong, Britain? Why aren't you bringing these things in? Well, as the article says, one thing is certain, though: the British have a history of not following the rest of Europe. Yes, that's very true. They're, just, they're not even in the European Union just anymore. Just look at Brexit. What a lot of European think is the Europeans think is great for the continent. British people kind of go,、mm, yeah, no, no, thank you. We don't like that very much. So they have a history of not following, not doing, not copying, not going along with the rest of Europe. And with beavers, it will likely be the same. Well, so they're not going to reintroduce beavers wi well, widely. Well, sounds like a lot of people don't like the idea. <sighs> That's too bad.、Yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and ask and then answer the what do you think question. Do you think that beavers could make a return to the United Kingdom? Why or why not? And please answer in that great British accent of yours. Oh, I believe it is possible. One reason I think that is the British love cute little animals like beavers, so ecotourism could be a really big thing. But there is an issue. Britain is rather dense. Not many, you know, a lot of people in in、mm. a small amount of land. So. They do have problems that you wouldn't have in, you know, Germany or Poland places like that. Might be a、like、bit、that. dodgy, eh? Might be a bit dodgy,、oh, yeah, yeah. Like your accent. My accent is my accent terrible. Too, oh my、yes. goodness! Goodbye, everybody.、Yes. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Take care. 好，其实欧洲大多数国家都已经重新引进河狸，好几个国家也发现河狸可以带动生态旅游的成长。课文就写到说，那就是为什么许多欧洲人无法理解到底是什么让英国人这么样的担心。好，这个句子呢，它用到 why 及 what 来引导名词短句，分别是当主词补语和受词用。我们就来学习这个用法。W H 疑问词像 what、when、why、where、how 等等，它们所引导的名词短句可以当主词、受词或是主词补语用。那我们来看三个例句。第一个例句 ，What you did for your friends is thoughtful。你为朋友们所做的是非常体贴。这边名词短句 ，What you did for your friends 是当主词。第二个例句 ，Do you know where my glasses are？ 你知道我的眼镜在哪里吗？那这边名词短句 where my glasses are 是当受词用。第三个例句 
Is that why you don't like Justin? 那就是你不喜欢贾斯汀的原因吗？那这边名词短句 why you don't like Justin 是当主词补语用。好，另外课文它还用到 get。Somebody 加形容词来表达使得某人感到怎么样，像是 Her father got her interested in country music. 他的父亲让他对乡村音乐感到有兴趣。好。或许英国人啊，对河狸有着这种爱恨交织的复杂情绪。那不管原因是什么，课文就写到说，有一件事是可以肯定的：英国人啊，从过去就是有着不想跟随欧洲其他地区的那种历史。嗯，我们从这个英国脱离欧盟，就是可以看到很明显的例子嘛。那老师没有提到 Brexit，B R E X I T， 它就是指脱欧，是由 British 跟 Exit 所结合而来的字。老师还有到提到这个 European Union， 就是指欧盟喽，常可以简称成 EU。好，那么以上见讲解，同学别走开，马上回来哦。哈喽，各位同学，大家好，我是季安老师。我们今天带大家看一下照片描述题，很爱考的一些单字哦。我们之前有讲过情境嘛，上次介绍了三个情境，今天要再带大家看。另外三个情境，第一个呢，在空旷的户外 ，OK， 空旷的户外，人到了空旷户外就是要干嘛？走路，对不对 ？OK，strolling、okay, walking 这个很重要啊、哦，所以你看到空旷的这个草原的时候，等一下就要注意有没有这个 walking 的东西会跑出来，放松 ，relaxing，right， 躺着 ，lying on the grass， 或是 lying under the。canopy，OK，、okay? 它是不是呃 ，canopy 就是有一个像是嗯。遮阳的那个叫什么？雨遮啊 ，canopy 就是那种雨遮，或者是那种很大的这个阳伞哦，外面的那阴影的地方哦。canopy they are under they are lying they are sitting under the canopy。再来慢跑 ，jogging、running 这些都可以哈、哦。那个划船 ，rowing， 看表演 ，watching performance，attending a concert，、哦、这些都是人在户外常常做的事情。OK， 人。那如果是东西的话呢？嗯，就是这个啦 ，shaded by。我们刚刚讲讲之前有讲过嘛，就是说那个树的影影子，或者是呢一个建筑物啊、呃、部分被树影盖过的啊，被盖着的啊 ，shaded by 什么什么东西。比如说啊 ，the park bench is shaded by the tree， 这样就是了哈、啊。就是呢这个呃公园里面这个板凳呢被这个树影盖着 ，OK，shaded、okay? by。Floating 啊，这个船啦，或者是什么东西浮在水面上 ，OK， 空旷户外。那工地也是呃情境题当中很常出现的、哦。工地叫做 construction site， 这个字一定要会啊、哦。construction site， 人在工地干嘛？睡觉吗？不是，哈，工作 ，working 哦，工作真的很长很重要，每一个情境几乎都有。再来 ，inspecting 检查，他在检查一些。啊、uh, ，equipment 啊、oh, ，the the workers are inspecting some equipments， 这样是可以的。The workers are inspecting some equipments， 装货 ，loading 啊、uh, ，有装货就有卸货 ，unloading 啊、oh, ，前面加上一个 un 非常重要。推这个独轮车 ，pushing a wheelbarrow 这个字哦，长得很奇怪，但是呢，在这图片里呢，很常出现啊，在推那种砖块啊，或者是推那个或泥土的那种东西 ，wheelbarrow 哦、oh, ，pushing a wheelbarrow。啊、呃，除了这个之外，他们又挖东西，好用 digging， 好、哦，那铲子叫 shovel， 当动词就是直接用铲子去铲 shovel，OK，shoveling。Okay? Shoveling. 再来搬东西 ，lifting， carrying， moving， 重要，修理 ，repairing， 或者是 fixing， 最后操作 operating， 好，这样 ，the man is operating some machine， 可能就是这个样子、哦。再来东西，东西工地都要提早。梯梯子的话，它就是会靠在某个东西上。那靠就是这个 leaning 或者 propped against leaning against 或者 propped against。OK， 再来建造哦，被建造起来哈。OK， a building is being built。OK， 啊，什么东西 a bridge is being built？ 什么东西正在被建起来 ？built。再来 stacked up 哦 ，stacked up 堆叠起来。还有呢，被测量哦，比如说你看到他拿那个。呃，鲁班池在那边量哦，就是测量，他正在测量这个长度等等的。再来是商店、餐厅哦，只要是人就是在那边干嘛？当然就是用餐了 ，enjoying the meal，having a meal，enjoying the meal 都是有可能的。再来 shopping 购物。
pay making a purchase， 如果是在收银台哦，就是这个 making a purchase 正在付款，或者是 paying for 什么什么东西哦 ，paying for some merchandise， 这是有可能的。Taking an order， 他在点餐。那所谓的呃、uh, taking an order 是服务生哦，服务生在帮你寄哦，这个你要的什么什么餐点。The waitress is taking an order. 这样是 OK 的。Standing behind the counter, 站在这个呃柜台后面。Wiping, 擦桌子。Unpacking merchandise. Unpack 是拆货啊、哦，就是啊、呃、把箱子打开，然后要放上架。Unpacking merchandise. 再来 arranging 还是 stocking the shelves. Arranging 就是在排那个货架上面的东西，在整理。那 stocking 的话一样。空的货架，然后你看到他拿着这个产品要往里面放，这个就是 stocking， stocking the shelves。再来，呃，在餐厅的时候呢，东西的话比较常出现的，餐具一定要会哈、啊， silverware 是餐具的总称哦，就是这些 fork 啦， knife 啦，这一些 silverware， 或者是呢用 utensil， OK， utensil 这个字大家比较不熟，它的意思是器具， OK， 器具，哦，就是刀叉、碗盘这些 utensil。再来。陈列 displayed， 什么什么东西被陈列出来，摆放出来 ，be placed。所以这些东单字呢，一定都要拜托，熟的不得了。All right， 以上是我们今天的课程内容，我们下部影片见，拜拜。来到英文咬字大解析 ，I'm Holly。OK， 我们来看今天的主题。喂喂喂，就是 Don't annoy me。I'm saying everybody hi。OK， 我们今天的主题就是忽略的程度到底有什么不同呢 ？OK， so we have three words: ignore, ignore, neglect, neglect, and overlook. Overlook. Okay. So ignore. 应该是就是不意的，嗯，就是 ignore。<笑> OK， 所以你就是故意去忽视、忽略一个人或什么东西。对。So for example, do not ignore your friend's advice. 啊，不要忽视你朋友的忠告。OK, the next one, neglect. OK， 所以这个也是忽略，有点疏于照顾什么事情。嗯。所以它的区别跟 ignore 差在哪？不是 neglect， 只是感觉你真的是应该是要做一件事情，那就是就是要做什么，可是你就你就不做。OK， 就、嗯、所以其实跟你自己的责任感有关，对不对？对，就是感觉你不想在乎。Oh, OK， 所以你就是有可能是不够用心，或者是你根本就不想管这件事情，然后就去忽视它。For example, Gary played computer games all weekend. And neglected his homework. Okay, so Gary 整个周末都在玩电动，然后忽视了他的课业。其实他知道是他应该应该是要做他的作业，他就是。嗯。I want to play video games. Yeah, yeah. Oh. The last one is overlook. Overlook. Okay, 这个中文也是忽略、忽视，对不对？ Yeah. 所以它的差别又跟上面两个差哪里？ Because overlook, it almost has this feeling like you just just didn't notice it because you're not careful enough. Okay, so this is just with yourself, maybe a little bit of foolishness or foolishness. Right, but it's not purposely done. Right, 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 That you have overlooked. Oh, I think you overlooked something very important. Come on, Julie, don't you miss that? Okay. All right. So that's the end of the lesson. Okay. 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 So that's the end of Hey, I'm talking to you. Don't ignore me. I heard you. You're thinking of getting a cat. What's that have to do with me? Don't be such a jerk. I want your opinion. <sighs> I'm just teasing you. Well, I think having a cat is a big responsibility. I thought cats were much easier to raise than dogs. That's why I want a cat. That's true, but you shouldn't overlook that they require your time. 
I know that. It's not like I will neglect it or anything. Aren't you away from your house all day? The poor cat will be lonely. I thought cats are really independent and sleep all day. They are independent, but if you're never around, you kind of are neglecting them. They need a lot of attention and care. Okay. I guess I have to do some more thinking. It's hard to ignore all the good points you've brought up. Yeah, it's a big decision that you shouldn't take lightly. Thanks for your advice. Anytime. Yeah. Yeah. I still want to, and now you're going to ignore yeah, I just me. To I'm just kidding again. <laughs> <laughs>